find the area of any circle, you may use the formula pi multiplied by the radius to the second power, or some people simply say pi r squared. But in this situation, we are going to solve for the area of the circle using 22 over 7 for pi. 22 over 7 is the fractional value of pi. So we are going to start by substituting 22 over 7 for the symbol pi. Now we must multiply 22 over 7 by the radius to the second power. But we cannot plug 1 and 2 fifths in for our radius because when you multiply fractions, you have to rename any mixed numbers into an improper fraction before you can proceed. So we must rename 1 and 2 fifths as an improper fraction. And the first step in doing this is to simply write the denominator exactly as it is. Because we have a 5 here, we are going to simply write a 5 over here. But what will change is your numerator. And to get that, you start by multiplying your denominator by the whole number. 5 times 1 is 5. And then you add whatever you have at the top, or the numerator. And 5 plus 2 is 7. So 1 and 2 fifths, renamed as an improper fraction, is 7 fifths. Now remember, we always take the radius and raise it to the second power. Which basically means you multiply the radius by itself. So what we are going to do is take 7 fifths and write it a second time. 7 fifths times 7 fifths is the same thing as radius to the second power. The next thing we are going to do is look for cancellation within this problem. We can see we have a 7 on the bottom and a 7 at the top. Of course, 7 fits into itself once, so we change both of these 7s into 1s. But you are only allowed to cancel one number at the top and one at the bottom at a time. What we have remaining for our denominators are two fives, and we have no numbers at the top that share a common factor with five. So we have done all the cancellation possible in this problem. So next we are going to proceed to multiply all the numerators that we have remaining on the top to get our numerator. 22 times 1 is 22, and 22 times 7 is 154. Now what we have remaining on the bottom is 1 times 5, which is 5, and 5 times 5, which is 25. So we have an area of 154 25ths, but we have to simplify this into a mixed number. And to do that, you take your numerator and put it under the division sign, and always divide it by your denominator. So we're going to figure out what is 154 divided by 25. 25 can be divided into 154 six times. 6 times 25 is 150, giving us a difference of 4. So we would say the area of the circle is equal to 6 and 4 25ths square inches. And that is how you find the area of a circle using 22 over 7 for pi.